All right, guys. So I took a trip down to Plymouth, Massachusetts about four months ago. The title of this video is Plymouth Rock Side Streets Harbor Mini Tour. All right, guys. So the reason why I'm talking about this is because a 17-year-old kid was recently arrested for spray painting Plymouth Rock and several other national monuments in the downtown Plymouth area. All right, guys, so when I was down there filming, I noticed red spray paint as I was riding around. So I'm just going to play the video, and I will show you where the red spray paint is on the sidewalk on the corner of Leiden Street and Main Street. Okay, so I'm coming up Leiden Street here. I'm just trying to show some of the homes here in Plymouth. And as I approach this corner here, and I will stop the video. All right, so here's the red spray paint. When I stop, I turn my head to the right, and you will see it up close. So as you can see, there's spray paint on the sidewalk at the corner of Leiden and Main Street in Plymouth, Massachusetts. I noticed the spray paint that day, but I didn't say anything. I also noticed red spray paint on this panel here. And I was going to go up there, but for whatever reason, I got distracted and just kind of forgot about going up there. So I would have driven up here and come down this way here. All right, so he was testing the waters. What's going to happen to me if I spray paint the sidewalk at the corner of Leiden and Main Street? And apparently nothing happened, so he spray painted Plymouth Rock and several other national historical landmarks in the downtown Plymouth area. All right, guys, so I'm on Julianne Lima TV. Apparently this is her Twitter page. Here's the red spray painted vandalism to Plymouth Rock. So he spray painted 508, which is Plymouth, Massachusetts area code and then M-O-F, and then just kind of made some more spray paint marks. It looks like maybe he put a star here, but you can see the engraved 1620 into the rock, and you can still see the crack. So as I look at this photo, guys, it looks like he came in from the left side of the portico. You can see his footprints here, and then he spray painted the front of the rock. And then he continued to walk around here, guys. You can see his footprint here, here. And then he must have left the same way he came in. So here's his footprint here leaving. Here's his footprint here in the photograph. I will show you the portico. All right, guys. So I'm riding up towards Plymouth Rock here. This is the portico that houses Plymouth Rock. He most likely entered down into the pit where the rock is from this side based upon the footprints that I see in the sand and then he exited the same way. He also spray painted the Forefathers Monument so he spray painted 508 MOF it looks like a face with some ears maybe a bunny here so Julianne Lemer this is her photograph from her Twitter page she scribbled over some swear words right here, here, and here. And here's one of the shells, 508 MOF. So he was using two kinds of paint, white and red paint. So this is Julianne Lima TV. And those were the photos that I was just showing you guys. I will link this page so that you can look at them if you want to. Okay, so here's another scallop that was also vandalized with the red spray paint, 508 MOF. Okay, so this is from usatoday.com. Teen charged with vandalizing Plymouth Rock and other landmarks. All right, so the 17-year-old local high school student will be charged with 11 felony counts of vandalism to property and one misdemeanor count of trespassing. 
Police are not releasing the boy's name because he is a juvenile. He will face charges in juvenile court. The charges stem from a February 17th vandalism spree that targeted Plymouth Rock, Forefathers Monument, and several other landmarks and attractions along the downtown Plymouth waterfront. Plymouth Rock has been targeted occasionally over the years, sometimes by people with a political agenda. This year marks the 400th anniversary of the Pilgrims landing at Pilgrim Rock. So there's another photo of it, guys. Police Chief Michael Boteri said detectives reviewed hours of videotape of the downtown area in building a case against the teen. In addition to Plymouth Rock and Forefathers Monument, the boy is charged with damaging the Plymouth Maiden statue in a memorial bench in Brewster Gardens, a memorial stone and concrete slab at the entrance to Harbor Jetty, the waterfront bandstand, a town map in Shirley Square, and four scallop roll statues. Most of the damage included the words and letters 508 MOF. Boteri said the boy offered no explanation for what was written. He eventually cooperated but never gave a good reason why he spray painted, Boteri said. He said there is not a stiffer charge for vandalizing historic landmarks. The charges are only heightened if war monuments or veterans memorials are targeted. The vandalism charges carrying potential sentences of three years in jail and a $1,500 fine. The lesser trespassing charge was added for going into the portico at Plymouth Rock. He said he jumped in and jumped out, Boteri said. All right, so here's the letter from the Plymouth Police Department. All right, guys, so this kid is facing 11 felony counts for vandalism to property in one count misdemeanor for trespassing into the Plymouth Rock portico. All right, guys, so I'm at a website, sciencehowstuffworks.com, and it talks about the teenage brain. All right, guys, so in adults, various parts of the brain work together to evaluate choices, make decisions, and act accordingly in each situation. The teenage brain doesn't appear to work like this. For comparison's sake, Think of the teenage brain as an entertainment center that hasn't been fully hooked up. There are loose wires so that the speaker system isn't working with the DVD player, which in turn hasn't been formatted to work with the television yet, and to top it all off, the remote control hasn't even arrived. The brain's remote control is the prefrontal cortex, a section of the brain that weighs outcomes, forms judgments, and controls impulses and emotions. This section of the brain also helps people understand one another. If you were to walk into a sports bar full of Lakers fans wearing a Celtics jersey, your prefrontal cortex would immediately begin firing and warning. Those teams are bitter enemies, and it might serve you to change your behavior and your clothes. All right, guys, so basically what this article is saying is when you're a teenager, your brain isn't fully connected, guys. It's not fully developed. Now, granted, there aren't a lot of 17-year-olds walking around spray painting everything they see because there are some teenagers that have control, that have self-control. For example, this kid, right, he was testing the waters, so he spray-painted the corner of Leiden and Main Street. All right, guys? So he decided to spray-paint Plymouth Rock and other historical landmarks there in Plymouth. And this kid is facing three years in jail, guys, and a $1,500 fine. He either just didn't care or he didn't think about the consequences of his actions. I will link this article below if you'd be interested in reading it. A teenager's frontal cortex is not fully developed, guys, at the age of 17. So what is the function of a frontal cortex? The frontal lobe is the part of the brain that controls important cognitive skills in humans, such as emotional expression, problem solving, memory, language, judgment, and sexual behaviors. It is, 
in essence, the control panel of our personality and our ability to communicate. Neuroscientificallychallenged.com. All right, guys, so I will link this article here if you're interested in reading it about the prefrontal cortex of the brain. So according to the Plymouth Police Department letter, the vandalism of these historic landmarks, along with the other property, was cleaned up within 24 hours due to the efforts of the Plymouth DPW personnel as well as volunteers from the community. So the spray paint was cleaned up within 24 hours, guys. But this kid's record of 11 counts of felony vandalism to property in one count misdemeanor of trespassing Plymouth Rock Portico will remain on this kid's record for life. All right, guys. So I'm not sure what was going on inside this kid's head. If you're a teenage kid and you are very impulsive like this, think before you act, guys. All right? Take a minute and consider the consequences of your actions. All right, guys, so the spray paint has been removed from the Plymouth Rock and all the other monuments that were vandalized by this young teen. So people can get ready for the 400th anniversary in May of 2020 to celebrate Plymouth, Massachusetts as a town. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, you got the shot. Get one more shot. All right, guys, so there it is. Plymouth Rock, 1620, engraved directly into the rock.